Kamala Harris and Tim Walls put out a, a very weird video yesterday. They, oh, they, they sat did, down did they? and, I guess, pretended to have dinner together or something. And I don't know what the point of the video was, but I guess the the point of the video was to try to humanize uh, the two the two of them. Well, Tim Walls really doesn't need much help being humanized. I think Kamala Harris has a little bit of a warmth problem. And so um, they put that out there to try to make Kamala seem like a, a warm, nice person that you'd want to sit down and have uh, food with, which, of course, she's not. You know, I- I'm voting for her, but I don't think she's nice. I don't think she's a nice person. I don't think she's sweet. I don't think she's affable or friendly or gregarious or any of those things. But that was what the video was designed for. It was designed to make you feel that way. The point was to show us that, oh, they're real people, just like you and me. Oh, look, they're eating a meal. Well, <laughs> maybe not you. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're like, I don't know. I don't know what you are. Meal, I eat meals. <clears throat> I, they're j- I, you know, do you? <laughs> you look like you might be synthetic is what I'm saying. Just like me. I should vote for them. Okay. This is what I'm, this is the quality I'm looking for in a leader. I want to know that this is someone who eats food. Okay. But, um, so I get, I, maybe that was the point. I don't know. But, but here's the video that Tim Walls posted to his social media accounts. Uh, well, let's watch. Like I have white guy tacos and what like that black. What is that? Like mayonnaise and tuna? What are you doing? Pretty much ground beef and cheese. That's and okay. The, Do yeah. you put any flavor in it? Uh, no. Oh. Um, here's the deal. <laughs> <laughs> no, they said to be careful and let her know this, that black pepper is the top of the spice level in Minnesota, you know. I'm the first vice president, I believe, who has ever grown chili peppers. I'm you trying to expand it. my, we'll uh, my food knowledge. You know, what, we've got some cantaloupes. You'll be fine. Yeah. Um, okay, so. Now, mo- listen, guys, as a white person. What Kamala Harris just said. <laughs> so very, very hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> Racism. These are the same people. Cop kills a black dude. They're like, he had it coming. But then Kamala Harris like white people food, huh? What's that like tuna? Tuna and mayonnaise on a taco? And they're like... <laughs> White people have feelings too. <laughs> no one's, no one's f-ing feelings are hurt by this. Shit. If you're hurt by this, shit, Snowflake doesn't even begin to f-ing encapsulate what a little bitch you are. All right. Hey, if you like this clip, you might like the full stream, which I do every Sunday, more or less, over on the Pessimist Productions Patreon. Link down below. Thank you kindly. Most people seem to be focused on the fact that this is uh, so awkward and fake and lame. That I will give you, sir. That is true criticism. But everyone's skipping over the more important point. No. Which is that... (laughs) There's this... Okay. Let's let the man speak. A presidential candidate just casually dropped anti-white racism in the middle of what was supposed to be a light-hearted video. (laughs) Like tuna and mayonnaise. <laughs> she was giving an interview. <laughs> and she said <laughs> white white people tacos probably have tuna and mayonnaise on them. <laughs> How do you even fucking survive, bro? <laughs> if that really hurts your feelings, then how do you even fucking, how do you even live? I don't know how a person with feelings that easily hurt could possibly exist this long. You should have by all rights killed yourself 173 times by now. If you're that goddamn sensitive. Yo. You know, Tim Walls says that he makes <laughs> white guy tacos. 
And Kamala says, what is that, mayonnaise and tuna? Mm -hmm. Like, that is anti-white racism. That's what that is. And if you don't believe that... My heart, it, it, it breaks for you, sir. Anti-white racism. The woman is a demon. Right? If you, if you think that it, I'm overstating the case... I don't think you're overstating the case. I think you are manufacturing the case whole cloth out of fucking nothing. I think that you have spun pure innocuousness into something worth getting upset about in your own delusional fucking pea brain. I think you're a fucking twat and an idiot. And I don't believe for a second that you're actually remotely offended by this. I think that you just want to play whataboutism. I think that you're tired of the left calling you a racist just because you are. And now you've seized upon this opportunity to fucking turn the tables on them. But the problem with your little table turn is that you've decided to get upset about the mildest fucking ribbing on the face of the goddamn earth. All right, well, just imagine it the other way. Okay. Imagine a black guy says to Donald Trump, I make black guy tacos. And Donald Trump says, oh, what is that? Like fried chicken and watermelon? Maybe sprinkle some Kool-Aid powder over top. Am I right? How do you think everybody would react to that? <clears throat> People would be upset by that. But you know what? Here's a fucking key difference for you. I don't know if you know this. Fried chicken and watermelon is like a long-standing racist dog whistle that's been used for like more than a hundred years now. And it's well established that when some white dude starts talking about fried chicken and watermelon, what the fuck he's really saying. He's not just commentating on black people's food choices there. Okay? There is no long standing uh, issue of white people and tuna and mayonnaise. That was never used to keep us down or anything like that. Gotta keep the white man in his place. Go eat some tuna and mayonnaise, whitey. <laughs> like, let's just remove everything from its fucking historical context. The joke is that Minnesota white boys eat bland food. You know what? That's fucking true. They do. What do you think the reaction would be? Nuclear meltdown, literally. I mean, they would probably- It wouldn't be a nuclear, if Trump was like fried chicken and watermelon, here's what would happen. His entire base, including you, would rally around him and be like, there was nothing wrong with what he said. There was nothing wrong. He was actually fine. His support among black voters would dip a few points but at this point, any black person voting for him is already self-hating as fuck anyway. So it wouldn't really hurt him there. A bunch of lefties would get riled up about it for about five minutes until he moved on to his next atrocity tomorrow. <laughs> That's all that would happen. It would not be nuclear meltdown. Probably shoot a, a, a <laughs> nuclear missile at Donald Trump for that. They would execute him via nuclear attack. If he, he said worse than that and and walked away just fine. If you were to say something like that. I mean, the outrage would be so immense. We would never hear the end of it. The, 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 the date. No, you wouldn't. I mean, like, what are you talking about? This dude literally called a cis woman trans. You probably did too, you fucking scum. Uh, this dude literally fucking looked at a mixed race candidate and said, oh, she was Indian, and now all of a sudden she's black. What's up with that? You know how long that fucking dogged him? A couple hours until he said his next fucking abomination. The dude spews shit on a daily basis. No one has the time or the energy to get that riled up anymore. Of this black guy taco comment, would be remembered by the media forever and memorialized. Like, for years after, they would solemnly refer to 816, <coughs> right? We'd have January 6th. Do you remember 816? I remember where I was on 816. 
Mm-hmm. The day of the fried chicken and watermelon taco joke. Uh, le- they would be. This guy is a fucking delusional fuckwit if he thinks that any of this is even remotely reflective of any sort of reality. If Trump did that, the left would have launched a rocket at the entire world and just destroyed the entire human race because they would have just said the human race isn't even worth living. In fact, the left would have invented a machine to just collapse the cosmos, just destroy the entire universe because existence itself was so tainted by what Trump said. That's what would happen if Trump did it. But yet Kamala does it and no one even cares except for me. The one man who had the courage to look at an innocuous fucking joke and cry his little fucking head off. 